you have all been working. So as a little treat for you guys, Miss Smith, Miss Landry, Miss Chauvin, and myself have planned a virtual field trip for you guys to the San Diego Zoo. All right, let's see. Awesome. All right. So before we begin exploring the zoo, let's go over some vocabulary words that you guys saw earlier this year. So first we have the word appearance, which is the way something looks. So when we go and look at all the different animals at the zoo, I want you guys to pay attention to the appearance of the animals. Next we have behavior, which is the way a person or animal acts. So also look at how are those animals behaving in the zoo. Next, we have habitats, which are places that give animals the food, water, and other things they need to live and grow. And you guys are going to see so many different habitats today. I am so excited for that. Now we have life cycle, which is the different stages that occur during an animal's lifetime. And you're going to be hearing about that from each of us as we explore different animals. All right, so you guys can use the vocabulary words to describe the way they look, act, where they live, and the different stages of their lives. Now, since you guys are participating at home, I'm gonna invite you to bring along maybe a friend, maybe a sibling, a parent, a stuffed animal, or even a pet. So if you wanna do that, you can pause the video real quick. We all have our little friends. Um, so if you guys want to grab one, pause the video, go grab one, and come on back. Now to Miss Landry, who is going to show us how we will get to the San Diego Zoo. Hey, guys. I'm so excited about our field trip today. Are you ready to go? All right. Let's start by looking at our map. You can see it on your screen. The little star at the bottom is where we're at right now. We are in the state of Louisiana. So the little star shows Port Allen, which is where our school is located. Now I know that we are all over Port Allen right now and the places outside of Port Allen, but that's pretty close to where we're at. Do you guys know where we're going to be traveling today? The San Diego Zoo is all the way in California. Do you see that long blue shape with the little yellow star in it? That is where the San Diego Zoo is. Now, it is a long way away. You can see on the map how far it is. So it is actually 1,734 miles away. So if we were in a bus, if we all hopped on the school bus, it would take 25 hours, like more than a full day. That sounds like a lot, right? So what if we took a plane, like an airplane? It would only take five hours. Not too bad, right? So earlier this year, we talked about transportation and the quickest way from one place to another way. So do you guys think it would be quicker to ride the bus to California, to walk to California, or to ride on an airplane? What do you think? An airplane. So you guys ready to hop on the airplane? Do you have your boarding pass? You got it? You ready to go? All right, guys, seatbelts, everyone. Put your seatbelt on. All right, let's look at our emergency exits. In case something happens, we know the way out. Look at the person next to you. Make sure they're going to be a good napping buddy for you. All right, okay, are we all set? All right, here we go. You say what sound you think an airplane makes. All right. All right, we're landing, we're landing. Hold on tight, hold on tight. Oh my goodness, we made it. All right, guys, you're gonna be hearing from Miss Smith, Miss Chauvin, Miss Nettles, and myself as we take a look all around the zoo at all the different kinds of animals. All right, Miss Chauvin, are you ready to kick us off? Yes. 
All right, guys, I'm so excited that we're finally at the zoo. We are gonna take a look at some live animal exhibits. That means that the videos that we're watching is what they're doing right now. Some of the animals may be sleeping or hiding when we look, and that's okay. If this happens, I encourage you to go do some research on your own and see if you can find them at another zoo. Let's begin our first animal. All right, my friends, let's see what it's gonna be. It's the, y'all see it? It's the ape, it looks like he's sleeping or maybe he's just hiding. But orangutans are also apes. Mature orangutans are around five feet tall. They have red and orange hair. Orangutans have long arms to swing on tree branches. They live on islands in the Southeast Asia. Orangutans spend their lives in the rainforest canopy. A canopy is like a bunch of trees and they like to be in the shade. And they like to make their nest high in trees. They search for food during the daytime. They eat mangoes, figs, and other fruits. Orangutans use their strong teeth to chew on tree bark, so they just chew on trees. That's weird. Females give birth to one infant at a time, so that means they don't have give birth to a lot of them, like dogs or cats or stuff like that. Young orangutans live with their mothers for up to eight years. Their lifespan is up to 35 years in the wild. That's a long time. They eat up to 400 different types of fruits and insects and trees in the rainforest. The word orangutan means person of the forest. All right, my friends, let's look at our next animal. Do you think y'all can guess what it is? Let's see. It's the baboons. Look at them. I see one right there and I see one up at the top. Did you know that baboons can weigh up to 90 pounds? That's more than you weigh. Baboons are primates. They weigh between 26 and 90 pounds. They have sharp teeth and long nails. Most of them have brown or gray hair. They live in Africa. Most baboons live in savannas or in rainforest, kind of like orangutans. They sleep in trees like orangutans too. Baboons live in groups called troops. Baboons eat plants and animals. Most of them eat fruits, rabbits, nuts, and bugs. Baboons will travel up to five miles a day to find food. Oh my goodness. Females give birth to one infant at a time, just like orangutans. The young primate travels on its mother's back. In three years, it will become a mature adult. Their lifespan is up to about 30 years. Female baboons stay with their mothers their whole lives. They show their sharp teeth to scare off predators. And predators are kind of like the scary ones that are trying to like eat them or trying to attack them to steal their food. All right, my friends, let's look at one more. Let's see. Look at them. These are condors, which are also vultures. Vultures are very large birds, and they can weigh up to 33 pounds. They tear food apart with their hooked bills. Their feathers are brown, black, or white, and their heads and necks are bare, so that means they don't have any hair on their necks. They live all over the world. They make their nest on cliffs or in trees. Many condors return to the same nest every year. Condors are scavengers. They have great eyesight for spotting dead animals. Ew. Even some have a good sense of smell. Female condors lay one to three eggs in their nest. Young vultures hatch in two months or less. Male and female condors both care of the young by bringing food to the nest. Some condors eat ostrich eggs and some vultures can smell dead animals more than a mile away. Ew. And they can go two weeks without eating. Oh my goodness. If I went two weeks without eating, oh my gosh, my stomach would hurt. But all right, my friends, I'm going to send it back to Miss Landry to look at some more of our cool animals. Wow, Miss Chauvin, those are some really awesome animals we looked at. How cool. Okay, you guys ready for our next animal? This animal is huge. I mean, so big really long trunk, really big ears. Any guesses? 
Look, Miss Smith has one. It's an elephant. Let's take a look at those elephants, see what they are up to. You guys see any? They might be hiding. Hopefully they'll pop out in a minute. Okay, let, while we're waiting, we're gonna learn a little bit about these elephants. Did you know that elephants use their two tusks to dig and fight off predators? Is that what you guys use your teeth for? To dig and fight off predators? Probably no. not. Some of you have lost your front two teeth, right? Okay, so let's learn a little bit more about them. African elephants are large mammals. They can stand up to 13 feet tall. Wow, that's taller than anybody I know. They have gray, huge ears, and they have a thick gray skin. Let's talk about their habitat, where they live at. Elephants live in Africa on flat, grassy savannas. African elephants need trees and water to stay cool from the hot sun. African elephants can eat up to more than 200 pounds of food every day. Have you guys been eating that much over the last few weeks? Oh. I might have been. Don't tell anybody. They can grab fruit, grass, and leaves with their trunks. They use their tusks to tear bark from trees. Let's talk about baby elephants. How about that? A calf, which is a baby elephant, um, is born every year to a herd, and the herd helps raise this young elephant. Their lifespan is up to 60 years old. That's how old an elephant can live up to. Okay, some fun facts. African elephants can weigh over 15,000 pounds. What? Wow, I would not want one stepping on my foot, right? Really? And they spend up to 18 hours a day eating. Woo, 18 hours, my goodness. Elephants swim and roll in mud every day. Yuck, yeah. makes me feel like I need to take a bath. Gross. Do you guys like to swim and roll in the mud? Nasty. Okay. You guys ready for our next ele elephant? Animal? Are you ready? Okay. Our next animal has a super long neck. Everybody pull your neck up like this. Make it really, really long. Do you guys know what it is? It's the giraffe. Let's take a look at those giraffes. Now, there are other animals in the giraffe exhibit that we might see. <gasps> look, you see them? Yay! Look, I see a couple of them. Look at their long necks. And there are, if you look carefully, I think there might be some rhinos in there too. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Okay, let's learn about these giraffes. Did you know that giraffes kick their predators with their long legs to scare them away? Have you guys ever kicked somebody to scare them away before? I bet your legs aren't as long as a giraffe's though, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, giraffes are mammals that stand up to 18 feet tall. Taller than an elephant, my goodness. They have small heads and long necks, and they have tan fur with dark patches on them. They live in Africa, just like our elephant, on open areas of grassy land called savannas. Giraffes use their long tongues, let me see yours. Their long tongues to eat leaves off of trees, and they have to bend far down to drink water. So they kind of lap up water like a dog, but its head is way farther from the ground than a dog's. Okay, let's talk about um, baby giraffes. Female giraffes give birth to their young called calves, and they drink milk from their mothers. Female giraffes in a herd care for their calves just like elephants do. So they have a whole group of animals around them that help take care of the baby, just kind of like how you have aunts and uncles and grandmas and grandpas that help take care of you. The lifespan of a uh, giraffe is up to 20 years old. So they don't live as long as elephants live. Fun fact about giraffes, that their tongues are blue and black. Is your tongue blue or black? Yeah. Check it. Maybe if you eat like those blue slushes in the cafeteria, you might have a blue tongue, but usually we don't have a blue or black tongue, right? And giraffes can run over 30 miles per hour. That's pretty fast for a giraffe, for something with long legs. Okay, our next animal that we're gonna be looking at lives in Australia and likes to climb on trees. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Any guesses? Starts with a K? It's a koala bear. Let's take a look, see if we can find those koala. 
You have to look carefully. You see him crawling or, yep, I can see him right there in the middle. He's crawling, yep, got him. So cute. Okay, let's learn about those koalas. Did you know that a new baby koala is the size of a jelly bean? Can you imagine how itty bitty a baby koala would be? Koalas are marsupials with fuzzy, thick gray hair, and they can be up to three feet long. Koalas weigh between 14 and 20 pounds, so they're pretty small compared to our elephant and our giraffe, right? Okay, let's talk about their habitat. Like I said a little while ago, they live in Australia, and they use their arms to climb trees. Each hand has two thumbs. Okay, how many thumbs do we have on a hand? Just one. They have two thumbs on their hand crazy and they use it to grip eucalyptus leaves and branches tightly and that's what they climb on and that's also what they eat and they spend most of their lives in trees so they don't you know go home get in their bed with their pillow they live in trees most of their lives hmm. so at night koalas eat for almost four hours straight wow does it take you four hours to eat dinner that's crazy they eat juicy, crunchy leaves off of eucalyptus trees, and this is also how they get their water. So there's water inside of the, the leaves on the tree, so when they eat the leaves, they get the water inside of it. Pretty cool. Female koalas have pouches on their stomach, kind of like a kangaroo. You guys remember the story we read called Pouch? Remember that one with the kangaroo? So the koala has a pouch like that too, and their babies stay in their pouch for up to six months. Adult koalas live independently, means that they live by themselves. They don't live like with the family. And their lifespan is between 13 and 18 years. That's how long they'll live. So fun fact, the name koala means doesn't drink because they don't drink. They just get the water from the eucalyptus leaves. And koalas sleep on average of 18 hours a day. That's a long time. Long time. And they move super slow. And you can kind of see here, not much pep in his step. He's kind of slowly moving around. All right. So I'm going to send it on down to or up to Miss Nettles. Thank you, Miss Landry. All right, the first animal that you guys are going to look at with me um, is a smaller animal and it makes the noise hoot, hoot, hoot. Do you guys think you can hoot, hoot at home? Let me hear it. Hoo, hoo. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks guys for the help. Um, so this is the owl. So let's go ahead and take a look at our owl. Ooh, we can see him right there. All right, so did you guys know that owls have a flat face? Owls are birds with flat faces and round heads. They have gray, brown, black, or white feathers, and they can grow to be six to 24 inches. So that's pretty small compared to a lot of the animals we've seen. Owls live all over the world. Many live in woodlands. Some of them make nests in trees. They eat insects, mice, frogs, and other small animals, and they catch their prey with their very sharp talons. So talons are like your fingernails, so they catch their prey with their talons, and they hunt for food at night. Female owls lay, lay up to 12 eggs. They will hatch in a few weeks' time. They leave the nest around eight weeks old, and their lifespan is up to 30 years. Owls sometimes swallow their food whole. I will sleep during the day and are awake at nighttime, which means that they are nocturnal. Male owl, owls are smaller than female owls. So you can see our little owl friend right here. He's not really doing much because it looks like it's daytime. So we know that they are out and about during the night. So that's why he's not doing too much moving, okay? Now let's go to our next animal. Now this animal, I want you guys to guess, this animal is black and white and it looks really cuddly, like it kind of makes me want to give them a hug. Do you guys know what animal that could be? It's our panda. All right, so did you guys know that a giant panda can weigh up to 300 pounds? Let's see if we can spy our 300 pound panda right here. 
I don't know if we see one, he might be sleeping. But pandas are large mammals. They have black and white thick fur. Giant pandas only live in China. They live in bamboo forests. Pandas use their paws to hold bamboo stems and to climb trees. Oh, I see our panda friend, look right there. Awesome. Bamboo shoots, stems, and leaves are what giant pandas eat. They are such large animals that they can eat up to 85 pounds of bamboo a day. Wow, that's crazy. Female pandas give birth once a year. One or two cubs are usually born at a time. Cubs are what baby giant pandas are called. Cubs weigh about five ounces at birth. Their lifespan is up to 20 years in the wild. And did you know that pandas are great swimmers? I know that some of y'all have been in those pools in your backyard, and I bet y'all are great swimmers too, just like the pandas. All right, guys, now I'm going to send it over to Miss Smith. She is going to tell us about the last couple animals. Hey, my friends. I was just looking at all the cool animals that Miss Nettles and Miss Landry and Miss Chauvin have been talking to you about. We are going to follow this up and end our tour with the zoo with a couple of awesome animals, if I do say so myself. The first one is going to be the penguin. Did you know that penguins grunt like donkeys? What? That's crazy. Penguins are birds with short legs. They stand up to two feet tall. Penguins swim underwater using their flippers. We don't see any swimming right now. I do see some playing over there. They live on islands off, south, off southern Africa's coast. The, near, the nest near bushes and rocks in burrows. African penguins eat krill and fish. They dive to find food and catch them with their beaks. Could you imagine catching fish with your mouth? What? Female African penguins lay two eggs. Both parents take turns keeping the eggs safe and warm. The chicks will hatch in about 40 days. They're also called black-footed penguins. They live in groups together called colonies. Our penguin friends aren't too active right now. Let's go on to our next animal, which is the polar bear. Let's see what he's doing. Oh, he looks like he's sleeping. He must have had a long day, ate a lot of food. Now he's taking a nap. Says, did you know that the polar bear can swim 60 miles at a time? That's a long time at one time. Polar bears are huge mammals. They weigh between 700 and 1600 pounds. They have large paws and thick fur. They live on ice coast in the Arctic. Polar bears use their webbed front paws while swimming in cold water. Polar, bar, polar bears eat fish, seals, and walruses. They wait by a seal's breathing hold in the ice. They attack the seal when they spot it coming up from air. Female polar bears give birth to two cubs at a time. Polar bear babies are called cubs. They're born in a snow den. Could you imagine being born in the snow cold? They usually hunt and live alone. Their lifespan is about 25 years in the wild. And our last animal of the day that we're going to talk about is the great tiger. Just like Mike the tiger, guys, our LSU mascot. What do y'all think about that? I don't know where he is right now, but we're going to give you a little information on him. Meow. Did you know that tigers are the largest wildcats out there? Tigers are huge wildcats. They're up to nine feet long, guys. The majority of tigers have orange fur and dark stripes. Tigers use their sharp teeth and their strong legs for hunting all of the other animals in the wild. They live in Asia. Some types of tigers live in the rainforest. Others live in cold forests or in the mountains. They can climb a lot, guys. At night, 
tigers stalk their prey, which are deer and buffalo. A buffalo, that's big. And a tiger can attack that? They kill by biting the animal's neck. Female tigers give birth to two or three babies at a time. A baby tiger is called a cub. Mothers teach their young how to hunt. Their lifespan is up to 15 years old in the wild. They can run about 30 miles an hour. Guys, that's fast. They're gonna catch you. Cubs stay with their mothers until they are two years old. That's amazing, guys. We have learned so much today about all the different animals in the zoo between Miss Nettles and Miss Landry and Miss Chauvin and I. Now that we have looked at several different animals at the San Diego Zoo, we ask you to do some reflecting on what you've learned from us today. The following concluding activity are optional, but y'all feel free to do whatever y'all want with your siblings, with your parents, even your little friends right here. We would love to share with whatever you did when you're completed. Use it a blank sheet of paper, write three sentences and draw a picture of what your favorite part of this field trip was and why. Or draw a picture of your favorite animal and write three fun facts about that animal that you loved so much throughout this visit. Use the links attached to the email and help you with your drawings, guys. Now, I'm going to send it back for one final goodbye from Miss Nettles. All righty, guys. Well, I hope you all had so much fun on our field trip to the San Diego Zoo today. Um, and I miss you so much, and I cannot wait to see you. And I know you guys have been working so hard, so keep it up. All righty. Bye, guys. Guys, I loved our field trip today. Look at all of the cool animals we learned about. I learned so many new things. Thank you for coming with us. I hope that you had a good time and I will see you next time. Bye. I had so much fun on our field trip, guys. And I hope that y'all had fun too. And I hope you had fun with your stuffed animals. And it's so good to see y'all. I miss y'all and I love y'all so much. Bye. Hey guys, I'm so excited we got to do this field trip with y'all. It was so great seeing all of the fun animals that we learned about. I know y'all are doing an awesome job at home with your parents right now. Y'all keep up the good work. We miss y'all so much and cannot wait to see y'all again. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.